Hi folks, uh, still on acrylics, hope you don't mind. Uh, I'm really enjoying using this uh, Agri Gel, Vets Gel, used by Vets for obvious lubricating reasons. <coughs> Marked blue, so I presume this isn't fit for human use. Uh, but it's very good stuff, very cheap, because we're not using it for the purpose for which it was made. We're using it to dilute and, and make our acrylics flow. I've heavily gessoed this bit of uh, watercolour paper, but I got a bit too close with the hairdryer, so I had to do a bit of a quick repair. I'll paint thickly over there. Uh, I, I love meadows, and, and there's one particular bit of um, uh, meadow marsh grass that I really love, and it's a, I did one of it, or an abstract of it, several days ago and, and Mike got back to me on YouTube to say is it anywhere near here and he had a Google Earth photograph of exactly where I where I painted it from well I didn't paint it on the spot I worked from photographs a memory and I just abstracted it to make my own view up but entirely inspired by this wonderful Chichester Harbour area between Bossom and uh, and uh, Chidham, you, you can't get across the salt marshes, you have to go back to the main road because there are all these little peninsulas that are superb. Absolutely. Um, and Mike lives in uh, Nutsbourne, which is uh, a village close by. All the years I went down with my camping trailer to Southbourne, <laughs> and I, and I brought past his house probably loads of times. Might have even seen him on the walks. Occasionally we were called in at the, the house from home, this lovely pub on the way. Uh, love pubs, on holiday anyway. Right, so I'm going to, I'm going to do another one of it, but it's just a, a small one. I've cut a, a sheet in half. It, this is seven and a half inches by 11. So a bit of, bit of gel on the old brush, a bit of white, and uh, just put a bit of a, a bit of sky in. I remember my, my modus operandi is just to start and not try to make a finished painting at the start. Just put paint on. You can't do this with watercolour, of course. But this can be adjusted at any time. So hear the roughness, can't you? But this uh, gel is absolutely superb stuff. Love it. Prefer yellow ochre to the orange. There's some orange on here. Quite a low horizon, but I'm, I, I want to show it from a, or an impression of from a different angle. This uh, gel keeps the paint moist for quite a, a long time. Well, I say long, it's relative. Far longer than the PVA glue was, with wood. So, so just look, we've, we've covered the sky up with some nice, gentle suggestions. Bring that down in there. Right, now I'm, I'm going to put um, like a, the peninsula along here and I'm going to imagine dark trees here. So clean the brush, or I'll keep that separate. I've got two of those, uh, this other one. Uh, right, okay, so nice green, cad yellow, medium, lump of black, lump of red, and Put in some some trees here, and ah, no, the problem. See the brush; the, the varnish is coming off the brush. What I'll do when I've finished is to put a bit of PVA glue over that, and that'll see that will seal it. Oh, that's a nuisance, that's stuck in my finger. Mm. 
So imagine the main road here. And then we'll add some blue to that. Bit of blue in the bit of, in the distance, just going, going off. Okay. Now, what I noticed, which I forgot to put in from previous paintings, is a creek in the salt marsh. It's all salt marsh. At the high tide it, it gets flooded, but there's one creek that seems to st stay around a bit and it's, and it's a lovely feature, so I'm not going to have it going out of the picture, I'm going to turn it around the other way. If you look on um, the, the, the previous salt marsh I did, Chichester Salt Marsh near Bosham, um, the last three or four days you'll find Mike Evans um, I think Mike Evans, his link to the Google, the Google uh, Earth picture of what I love painting, and I've been along there many, many times. So we'll have this creek going. Well, let's just put it in. Let's just you nice and white. So we'll. Uh, So that'll do. Just, just to remind me. Now that's just damp now. There's still just a little bit of uh, moisture in it. But I'm going to paint down to these trees. I'm not going to reinstate the trees. Lost and found, lost and found. All right, let's get some salt marsh colour. Uh, I'm going to use, use this varnish brush. I'll just bought another three of these. They're not expensive, they last a long time, they're good quality, they're pro art and they make very good acrylic brushes and oil brushes but they can do things that other brushes can't. So we'll have this salt mask. So let's have a nice bit of bit of ochre nice and light. Uh, Lighter than that. Still lousy weather in my bit of uh, UK. Viridian's a great shortcut, like black. So a bit of the older. Jollop. Can put a bit of blue in there, I think. Just a just a bit cooler with a bit of blue in there. Just darker. Just add a little bit of black to that mix. The creek sort of um, peters out a little bit there. So have a bit of a shadow in there now.
just a little bit in there just more yellow and uh, viridian a bit of ochre a bit of medium or agri well, that's the sort of the basic I just want to get some more dark uh, in there there's some dark green in there I think yeah I'm rushing this a bit because we've got friends coming soon and I sent a painting to America and the cashier got the address wrong and after hanging on the phone for ages her super, this, I got onto the post office and the supervisor said well the uh, painting will go to the address on the package and not to what's on the tracking receipt so I um, so I was panicking a bit, really. You never know, once it leaves your hands, you always hope it's going to, going to turn it up to, to where it's uh, intended. Just a little bit of detail, so that I can counter change some, some dark over that. I mean light, sorry. Right, let that dry, but a bit more shadow in the reeds, marsh grass in here and I can put the uh, the creek back. It sort of peters, peters out in the end but here, well it peters out here as well but it disappears into the into the blue, into the yonder and I've got my feet tied up in, in uh, cables here. Excuse me, I'm going to have to move you a little bit. Right, okay. Right, let's go back into this sky now. Okay, uh, right, so let's go, let's go back into the blue and a touch of alizarin and just fill in the gaps. Now that um, rather than just painting blue skies, do bits of blue here and there, bits of purple, and then go over with your lighter cloud cover colour. You get some lovely effects. They they're impressionist. Oh, that's picking up the paint. That's careful. See, it's still a little bit damp. Put some impasto in at the end. So we can have a bits and pieces sky. So let's, let's get a bit of, bit of uh, the yellow ochre, cad red, a bit of white. Nice and warm. Right, 
I'll go over that with a more, bit more pinky stuff. Go back with a bit of that shadow. Just yellow oak and a bit of cad red. on that sky there, on that horizon shall I say. So then we've got a nice, oh hopefully it's a nice, easy sky, nothing worse than a pure blue sky. Might be okay if you're sunbathing or you want nice weather, but when you're painting you want to create a painting. Okay let's go back and, and silhouette this uh, That's a uh, green. Put a nice bit of red in, in this. And that one's some real good dark, so let's go for it. <clears throat> We can put a bit of light in there. Now let's go back and do those uh, those uh, little blue trees. This will be brush like this. Just going into nothingness there, right? at the end of that peninsula. It's got a little bit darker. Just a bit of red and blue. Just right now, I'm going to put a bit of uh, Right, okay. Now, <clears throat> a bit of uh, a bit of white. Now, I want a, quite a fine brush for this, but a short brush, and of which I have several worn out. But do you think I can find one? No. <clears throat> it's quite amazing how. How my brushes just vanish. Oh, is one under the paper, paper toweling. Okay, just an old bashed up brush. So we'll just get that in a slightly off white. Oh, there's a creek, just an abstract. Well, there we are, so a creek. 
can't remember if there are any uh, posts around it, but I'll uh, I'll put some in. Let's get that one in there. Now, a little bit of uh, Okay, well, a bit more definition in these reeds, marsh grasses. This is just a blackened Right, we'll leave that alone for a minute. I just want to do some more of that salt marsh. I'm going to use the varnish brush. A bit of burnt, she does have a bit of burnt sienna and white and ochre. Just some warm. I'll put some wild flowers on this. That's Get a bit of light in there. In that creek has sort of gone to nothing now almost. Now I'll add in some more colour, some more, best way I can describe a slip on there. Uh, we seem to be going downhill a little bit there, but I'm going downhill anyway. The Chidham, I was just outside Chidham. Chidham is sort of round down there. Uh, there's a probably, there's a load of water in probably in between the marsh grass and the distant trees. I'll knock those down just a little bit, I think. That's the cat yellow light. Bit heavy that. Look at that cross here. Oh, nice green now. So a bit of viridian. Just, just a little goes a long way. I'm just that says a bit of grass to me anyway. I want to make some more of that creek now. Keep that brush nice and uh, nice and moist. I'll put a bit of, bit of that blue in there.
Right, let's do a bit, bit of work on those trees now. Uh, Oh, well, there we are. That's quite a nice tree, guys. Right, um, I'll sign it and I'm going to put in an amount because that's all I've really got time for today. Uh, I'll still in a ready colour. Yeah, Monet. Claude. Right, nice, so I've got a mount that will fit that. I'll do that. Yeah, that one. So they lift you up. Oh no, I'll zoom out. Sorry about this, but it's not easy to move my. Okay, well, there we are. Simple enough. It says all I wanted to say. It's um, <coughs> the creek does stand. Oh, I was sitting back at it now, and the creek does stand out. I like that. So here we are. That's the, they're the colours. Twelve colours out there. Haven't used the orange. Haven't used that yellow. Haven't used burnt umber. Haven't used the... I've used all the others. <coughs> right, I'm going to... Uh, before I put this away, I'll spray underneath the membrane. I want to go online and get some more of these. It's quite damp, actually. <coughs> so they will stay workable for ages in this master, Masters and Stay Wet palette. I've got my watercolours in a Ziploc bag which are sitting on a towel, like the palette is sitting on the towel. It's just a closing thing, make sure it's all closed down. Right, there's the Masters and Stay Wet palette quite large <coughs> very very useful I, I would if you buy it nothing else <coughs> I, I'd recommend one of those keep your watercolors moist and workable or your acrylics or your oils thanks for watching guys bye bye